there is a hidden menu in the Jerry C to adjust the thermal image so it lines up with your night vision. So you press the back button to bring up your normal menu. Now you need to orient the Jerry C to the left. So if you're looking through your, through your night vision, it's going to be at 9 o'clock position. These options, uh, rotation set to zero, you want this auto option off, okay? Keep clicking, you're, you're pushing the brightness uh, rotation knob in as a button, and you select exit, and you have to adjust the brightness, see that 80 to 86? So anywhere from 85% to 90%, anywhere in between there. So let's take 87. Once, once you have that set, press and hold the back button. And this secret menu shows up. So there's four arrows. So each arrow will shift the thermal image in that direction. So when you select it with the uh, brightness control knob button, you select the arrow and then you tap the back button to move the image in that direction. This is why it's important to have the Jerry C at the nine o'clock position and with the rotation of the menu at zero. That way when the up means up, down is down, left or left is left and right is right. So when you're done, you're gonna select, select exit. You highlight exit and push the back button and it will save and then your thermal image will line up with your night vision. Choose something like 30 yards away or so. Uh, obviously the, the closer things are, they're gonna be a little bit offset, but um, yeah, there's a hidden menu in the Jerry C. There is a hidden menu in the Jerry C E2 that allows you to adjust the thermal image. You have to have the Jerry C uh, position at 9 o'clock to your night vision, and you have to set the rotation, ROL, to zero so that the menu is right side up. The next option, auto, you make sure that's off, and then you go through and, and select exit. Now the next step is you have to adjust the brightness be anywhere from 85 to 90 percent. So I'm 86. Once you're in between 85 and 90, you're going to press and hold the back button and the secret menu shows up. Ah, ha ha ha! Secret menu with arrows. So using the brightness knob uh, button, you're going to push it and an arrow is is highlighted if you want to move the image up you select that arrow and you push the back button to jog the thermal image to line up with your night vision image uh, if you keep pressing the brightness button it'll go in a in a sequence and select the different arrows highlight the arrows that's the direction it will move the thermal image when you're done select exit and push the back button and it saves the setting that's how you can adjust the thermal image to overlap your night vision image, basically collimate it.